Finland's adoption of the ITO-12, officially designated the NASAMS-2 Fin, marks a pivotal advancement in its air defense capabilities, reflecting both its strategic priorities and shifting geopolitical realities. Developed by Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and the U.S.-based Raytheon, this medium-range, ground-based system utilizes the AIM-120 AMRAAM missile, originally an air-to-air -air weapon, in a surface-launched role. Paired with the Raytheon AN MPQ-64 F1 Sentinel radar and a sophisticated command and control network, the NASAMS-2 Fin offers Finland a modular NATO-compatible solution to counter a spectrum of aerial threats aircraft, helicopters, drones, and cruise missiles. Introduced as part of a broader modernization effort, it replaced aging Soviet-era systems and solidified Finland's alignment with Western defense structures, particularly following its NATO membership in April 2023. The NASAMS-2 Fin emerged in a context shaped by Finland's unique geopolitical position and historical caution. Sharing an 832-mile border with Russia, Finland has long balanced deterrence with neutrality, a stance tested by Russia's 2014 annexation of Crimea and its 2022 invasion of Ukraine. These events catalyzed Finland's NATO accession, doubling the alliance's frontier with Russia and necessitating interoperable, modern defenses. Prior to the NASAMS II, Finland relied on the Russian Buk M1, known as SA-11 Gadfly, acquired in 1996 to settle Soviet debts. While effective, the Buk's 45 km range and Soviet origins clashed with Finland's westward pivot, prompting its phased retirement by 2015. The NASAMS II, with its 20 to 25 km range and 15 km ceiling, filled this gap, offering a shorter but more flexible reach suited to Finland's forested, fragmented terrain where air denial is critical against an adversary reliant on air superiority. This shift was not merely technical but symbolic, aligning Finland with NATO's technological ecosystem and Nordic partners like Norway, a fellow NASAMS user. The system's adaptability also allows upgrades, such as the AIM-120D variant, potentially extending its range to 40 kilometers, ensuring longevity in a dynamic threat environment. Procurement of the ITO-12 began in 2007 with a request for information, culminating in a 2009 decision after a contest between the NASAMS-2 and the Eurosam samp t a French-Italian system wielding the longer-range Aster-30 missile. Finland opted for NASAMS-2 on April 29, 2009, signing a 346 million euros contract with Kongsberg, with total costs exceeding 522 million euros, including radars and additional AMRAAM missiles. The choice hinged on cost-effectiveness, compatibility with the Finnish Air Force's existing AMRAAM stocks, used by FA-18 Hornets, and potential Nordic collaboration. Industrial offsets worth 100% of the contract value bolstered Finnish firms, Sisu Defense supplied 82 trucks for 25 million euros, while Patria secured a work share enhancing domestic industry and security of supply. Deliveries commenced in 2012, with 12 batteries fully operational by 2015, complemented by 176 million euros in radar upgrades, including 12 Thales Raytheon Groundmaster 403 units, ensuring robust air surveillance. This investment reflected Finland's meticulous approach, integrating the system into a broader defense overhaul that anticipated NATO membership and heightened regional tensions. The ITO-12's role is to provide medium-range air defense, safeguarding military bases, urban centers, and infrastructure from aerial incursions. Its network-centric design integrates seamlessly with Finland's air defense network, linking ground units with FA-18s and soon F-35s, creating a layered shield. With the capacity to engage up to 72 targets simultaneously in active and passive modes, it bridges short-range systems like the Crotal NG and high-altitude defenses, a gap later addressed by the 2023 David Sling procurement. Its purpose aligns with Finland's doctrine of denying air dominance, leveraging mobility and rapid deployment to counter threats across its challenging landscape. Deployment details remain classified, 
but the system's 12 batteries are likely dispersed to protect strategic areas, Helsinki, northern border zones, and bases like Parola, demonstrated in exercises like Ruska 20, which showcase joint operations with the Air Force. The system's modularity, allowing launchers to operate 25 kilometers from control centers, enhances survivability, a critical feature given Russia's advanced electronic warfare capabilities. The impact of the NASAMS-2 fin on Finland and the region is profound. Domestically, it modernized air defenses, replacing Soviet relics with a NATO standard system, enhancing deterrence against Russia's nearby bases, such as those in Murmansk. It strengthens Finland's role in NATO's northeastern flank, complementing Norway's NASAMS and supporting Baltic Sea security alongside Sweden's pending NATO integration. However, its shorter range compared to the Buck M1 sparked debate about a capability gap, partially mitigated by David Sling. Regionally, it bolsters collective defense, though its influence is tempered by the presence of more advanced systems elsewhere. Compared to competitors, the NASAMS-2 holds its own, but reveals trade-offs. Russia's S-400, deployed in Kaliningrad, boasts a 400 kilometers range, dwarfing NASAMS-2's reach, though its strategic focus differs. Sweden's Patriot Pack 3 with a 100 kilometers range, offers greater altitude and missile defense, while Poland's Patriot and SAMP-T deployments provide broader coverage. Norway's NASAMS mirrors Finland's, fostering Nordic synergy, but lacks the high-altitude punch of alternatives. The SAMP-T, Finland's runner-up, offers a 120 km range and anti-ballistic missile capability, potentially a stronger fit for countering Russia's Iskander missiles, though at higher cost and complexity. Finland's choice of NASAMS-2 over SAMP-T reflects a strategic calculus favoring affordability and integration over raw range, a decision validated by its seamless adoption and NATO alignment. Its operational success hinges on networked synergy rather than standalone power, a strength in joint exercises, but a limitation against overwhelming saturation attacks. The system's impact extends beyond hardware. Its procurement spurred Finnish industrial growth, while its deployment signals resolved to neighbors and adversaries alike. Culturally, it embodies Finland's shift from neutrality to collective security, a narrative reinforced by NATO membership. Overall, the ITO-12 NASAMS-2 Fin is a pragmatic, effective choice for Finland, balancing cost, interoperability, and terrain-specific needs. It excels in medium-range defense and NATO integration, enhancing Finland's sovereignty and regional stability. Yet, its limited range and altitude, compared to the S-400 or Patriot, highlight a niche role rather than a comprehensive solution, a gap Finland has addressed with complementary systems. As a cornerstone of its NATO-aligned posture, the NASAMS-2 Finn underscores Finland's strategic evolution, reinforcing deterrence in a tense Nordic-Baltic theater while inviting ongoing investment in layered defenses to meet future threats.